What's going on guys? Zetsume here, back for another video. It's been a while since my last video, about a week or so. I've uh, been working on some other things, took a break from the game a little bit to play Red Dead Redemption 2 when that came out. Um, you know, been playing that on and off, and then also doing some side things. My friends wanted to do uh, Heaven on High. So I went and leveled up my ether pool to do that because I never did it when it came out. Um, but anyways, so um, you may recall I've been working on trying to get the yellow script crafting glamours. Um, so I had started out, I showed you guys, um, I was basically just doing these custom deliveries here every week to get some yellow scripts. Um, so it took me about two, three weeks of farming these, um, you know, and I showed you guys it's not too horribly difficult to do. It takes about maybe 20 minutes every week to do that. And I was able to get all of the yellow scripts I need to, to get those glamour pieces. Um, I did do a few of these um, turn-ins as well, just to kind of get ahead a little bit. I skipped a week basically to, by doing this I turned in about 40 of these uh, surge knit caps today to uh, finish off what I needed took not too long about a couple hours of crafting uh, wasn't really anything too horrible um, so I did that bought all my glamour pieces and turned them into the glamour dresser so that I can make these uh, gear sets up here so basically what I want to do in this video is basically show you guys uh, what I did to make these sets and then I'll give you guys kind of a, a look at the final, um, you know, results of how those glamours look at the end of the video here. So, but basically the idea is, you know, crafters, they all use the same gear basically. They all have like an Omni set that's usually the best. So that's the gear that I have equipped right now. Um, and ordinarily, you know, this glamour that I have right here would be um, the same glamour that I have across all my jobs because they're all using the same, the same gear. So what I'm going to do is go use that glamour dresser so I can have a different uh, gear set for each one of my crafters. So I'm going to go ahead and go to the glamour dresser I'm gonna go to Limsa and you can go to any of the three city-states it doesn't matter they all have the glamour dresser at the end room um, I believe Ishgard and Kugane should have one as well if you if you uh, prefer to go there but I like hanging out in Limsa you know it's kind of my main hub it's just easy you know with the market board being there and uh, my current company is is Maelstrom, so so this is kind of my go-to place for these kind of things. So we're just gonna head right over to the in room here. Talk to this guy right here, and here we go. So here's our glamour dresser. As you can see, I've already placed all my gear into the glamour dresser. So you have, in order to use this, all your pieces that you want to use, you need to put them in the glamour dresser. And it just costs um, one glamour prism to put each piece in here. And once once it's in here, um, you don't need to use glamour prisms anymore. You can freely make glamour sets out of anything that's in here and so the way you do that is you go down to edit glamour let me pull this up so you can see it um, and then here's all your glamour plates across here you can see there's 10 of them currently you know they've talked about possibly increasing that which i hope they do because it is pretty limiting to just have 10 and you're going to see i'm going to use every single one of these basically to make the the gear sets that I'm going to do right now. Um, you can see this one I've made for my for my gatherers. You know, it's pretty simple. I just have two separate um, color variations. 
Um, and so, all right, so let's get to it. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go over here. I have an empty Glamour plate, and we're going to use that to build um, the Glamour plate for my crafter. So um, I already went ahead and made all of the other ones. So just so you guys can uh, kind of see that. Um, but I'm going to show you basically what I do is you just, you know, you got all your left side pieces here and you just click on each one of these and that'll cycle through your tabs of gear. Um, so I want to make one for culinary and so I'm going to pop in all of my um, culinary pieces here. So you just click on it, um, go down the list, add them all in there. And I can actually select a job, um, you know, that's not culinary, and it'll let me do that. But when I go to actually equip, equip this glamour plate, if I'm if I'm on the wrong job, it's not gonna um, show that glamour. And I'll just kind of give you an idea how that works, real quick. If I take off all of these, you know, you can remove them, put them on, remove them freely. It doesn't. Um, take any glamour prisms, so it's pretty cool. So let's say um, I'm gonna put, you know, just some random stuff on here, you know, whatever. Um, doesn't matter, you know, jobs that don't go together, you know, doesn't really matter here. And we're gonna show you how how that works. It'll let me save this, you know, and it's just telling me there in that message that basically. You know, you're a dumbass. This glamour ain't gonna work because you got multiple different jobs on here, so there's no way all these pieces are gonna show up. But um, I'm gonna do it anyways, just so you guys can kind of see that. Um, so, okay, so I'm on my crafter now. If I were to try to apply this, it's, uh, it's gonna say, I don't think so, basically. So it put um, one piece on, hold on, click the wrong one, there we go. So the only piece, the only piece that actually applied was um, the stuff that's like all job. So I got the, you know, skirt, or the, what is this, the um, gold saucer bunny tights or whatever, and then I accidentally clicked my gatherer one, and this one works for um, all jobs as well, so that one showed up. But the rest of the stuff didn't change, right? Like my headpiece didn't change, my shoes didn't change, because they're they're not able to be equipped by this job. Um, so that's what happens when you try to do that. So let's go ahead and make it the right glamour now. Get rid of all this stuff. And we're gonna make my culinary set. Put all that stuff back on here. I do like this culinary set. It turns you into a regular Gordon Ramsay here. So we're going to save that one. And there we go. Now I can apply it and it'll go on me. Right? But we don't want to... You know, that's that's a hassle. I don't want to have to come over here and click that apply button every time I want to put glamours on, right? So basically what we're going to do is we're going to, and then I can actually show you guys too. Um, once you actually apply the glamour plate, like it'll overwrite whatever glamour you had previously. So um, like that glamour I had, it's it's gone now so if I wanted to remake that I'd have to go find all those pieces again and um, and you know use more glamour prisms to to get that appearance back on um, so just keep that in mind before you go applying stuff you know and uh, make sure you don't accidentally get rid of a glamour you don't want to um, but anyway so yeah what we're going to do now is we're going to make macros so that 
Um, I don't have to come back here to change Glamour every time. It'll just um, it'll just do it through a macro. So I'll show you that text command real quick. Um, I've already made most of them down here. Um, so I'll go ahead and show you guys how I made that culinarian one. So I'm just going to go ahead and title this culinarian. And you can see I have, you know, my icons for all my different jobs. And, and so here's the command to do that, right? You're just going to, you know, this first line here is just to make this icon show up. So you're just doing slash M icon, and that just stands for macro icon. Um, then you're going to specify what job you want, and then you got to use this um, placeholder command that says class job just to um, tell the game that you want a um, job icon to show up there. So we're going to go ahead and type that in for culinarian and make sure everything's lowercase, um, you know, to make sure it's not going to screw up the command class job all one word and there you go so my job icon just showed up and then so for the next line here this slash gs that stands for um gear set and we have a placeholder here that says change that's telling that i want to change my gear set and then i have some numbers here and what these numbers correspond to is your actual gear set number and your glamour plate number so the gear set number is going to be, if you go into your gear set list, it's this number on the side right here. So whatever gear you want to equip from your gear set, you would type in that number. So my culinarian is 23. So I'm going to type in 23 in that command. So I'll go ahead and do my gear set change, 23. And then the second number is the glamour plate number so we're going to go into our glamour dresser and we're going to find our culinary glamour plate which was number 10 it's this number up here that you want so whichever plate um you want to you want the appearance of that's the number you're going to put in that macro so we have number 10 for our culinary so we're going to go back and type that in and there we go. So that's my macro. I'm just going to pop that right up here. And then every time I click, it's going to change my, my gear set, which, you know, it'll change my job. And it'll also change my glamour um, for that job as well at the same time. So I'm just going to go down the list here. You'll see, you know, it's changing every time and it's changing my job at the same time, which allows that glamour to show up um, even though I'm wearing the same gear, right? So, so let me just show you that real quick. You can see none of this gear is actually going to change. You know, the only thing that's changing is the tool, right? Because I'm changing, changing jobs but everything else stays the same. The only thing that changes is the glamour. Okay. So I'm just going to step outside so to uh, give you guys kind of a better look at this stuff. Because this stuff does look pretty, uh, pretty fancy. And unfortunately, it looks like it's nighttime, so it's going to be kind of tough. Might have to go in my house to give you to give you a better look. I think I'll do that. All right. I haven't set up like a photo studio or anything like that in my house yet. I probably should, but I'll just show you guys right here. Turn up my 
the lighting a little bit so you guys can see better. Okay. Alright, so let's see. So here is the culinarian one. It's just a nice uh, chef outfit there. I'll give you a good look at the tool as well. It's kind of a blue, um, like, I guess that would be like a oriental style. It's got some nice um, markings on it. So I like that. It's pretty neat. Fry pan. Alright, so we'll move on to the next one. Blacksmith. is pretty neat outfit it kind of looks like um, Sid's outfit almost and it's that um, bandana on top has a pretty neat pattern on it Let me zoom in so you guys can see that get a little bit of a closer view here see? it's pretty nice I also like the um, the tool almost reminds me of like Torbjorn's hammer from from overwatch that's pretty cool so that's the blacksmith. Next one is the armor. Another pretty fancy one here. I do like all the um, like the coloration and the um, like the markings on a lot of these glamours look really nice. The armor and the blacksmith one, I don't know, they kind of give me like a, um, like a tactics vibe for some reason. There's the, um, the tool there. It's a pretty nice looking hammer. Alright, so that's the armor. And we'll go to the carpenter next. And I have to say, the Carpenter, I think, is probably my favorite one. I probably won't change anything about this Glamour. I like the colors of it. I like, you know, everything kind of goes together. And that that chainsaw, man. Like, that chainsaw. Like, what else, what else do I need to say? That chainsaw. <laughs> but yeah, this thing is pretty, pretty nice. So I'm pretty happy with this. And that's the, um, the carpenter one. Moving on, we have weather worker here. Oops, let me get the uh, tool out. This one I also liked. I thought it had a lot of nice details on it. Um, especially this thing right here. I'm not sure what it is exactly. It just looks like some kind of parcel. Like, maybe, um, you know what, I think it's actually a, a tool kit. Like, he probably has, um, the, all of his, uh, leather worker tools in there. Or she, rather, if I'm role-playing. Um, and then there's the, the leather working knife there. It's an interesting one. Not as cool as the, uh, the pizza cutter, I guess, but still pretty nice. It's got some some um, some kind of leather parchment here, and so yeah, it's pretty pretty nice glamour. I'll probably end up dyeing this one, but I haven't figured out what color I want to dye it yet. All right, so moving on, we have the goldsmith one. This is another one of my my favorite ones. This is a pretty nice looking um, nice looking outfit here I like the colors on it a lot of nice um, details and patterns on it and uh, this uh, monocle here you can actually visor that up and down so that's cool 
It's a neat little like necklace here. I'm trying to get a closer view of this, you can see that detailing there. It's a pretty nice looking set, if I do uh, say so myself. Alright, so moving on, we have just the Weaver and Alchemist left. Show you guys those real quick. Another nice one. Oh, let me get the um, tool out because this is a nice tool here. Let's quick run around this one. Still not as nice as the, uh, the pimp outfit, I think, but, oh, you know. Actually, I think, you know, this one's not that bad. I kind of like it. And then there's the um, tool there. It's a pretty cool looking tool. It's got a little King Moogle on it. Alright, so that's the Weaver outfit. And finally we have the Alchemist. Oh, I keep forgetting to the dang tool out. This one's kind of interesting too. So here's the Alchemist. And there's the, um, the Alchemist Alembic there. It's got some neat things to it. I'm not sure what you would really call this, but it's uh, kind of interesting, kind of different. So I like it. It's got some glowy on the uh, whatever the hell that is. <laughs> so this is pretty neat. Um, one thing I want to bring up too actually these pants here if you take the boots off they're kind of like a like bell-bottom pants so they're kind of cool I might change up this glamour a little bit to uh, make it a little bit more to my liking but overall this is another another nice one and this monocle also does um, visor up and down as well so that's it guys that's um, all the crafting glamours finally got them all um, you know, like I said, I just, um, did the custom deliveries every week. It wasn't, you know, it didn't take that long. It was about three weeks, um, you know, plus a little extra farming, but, you know, you don't need to do that. You can just keep doing the custom deliveries every week and, you know, pretty easily get this stuff. Um, you know, like I said, I barely even was playing the game these last few weeks. I would just log in to do, like, my weekly stuff, like the dome and reconstruction, and, you know, my keep, do, like, a couple weekly things, like the get my 012 done, you know, cap my, you know, do a roulette here and there for tomes, and, and that's about it, you know? It's, you know, you don't really have to kill yourself, and you can get stuff done you know but anyways i think i'm gonna end the video here so i hope you guys uh, enjoyed it um hope you guys enjoyed seeing these glamours i know probably a lot of people don't have them i personally don't see a lot of people wearing these um but they are pretty nice man like this let me tell you this carpenter one it's definitely one of my favorite glamours in the game right now i think um so, so yeah, um, and yeah, you know, another thing I just want to say is, you know, that's all you got to do, you know, just set, set goals for yourself and, you know, figure out ways to, to get them done. And, you know, it's uh, a lot of times it's easier than you think. So, you know, just get out there and go after those glamours guys. Cause you know, it's not, it's not that, not that tough really, you know, just to set your mind to it you know there's always uh there's always a way and uh i'm just gonna end the video on that note so until next time take care everybody